Hello, and welcome to What's New in Spotfire from CFS Consulting. Today, we would like to talk about what's new in Spotfire version 7.5 and 7.6. One of the most interesting new features in this new version is the KPI visualization. This new visualization type allows you to combine many different data sources with many different metrics that allow you to see your entire organization at a glance. You can see here that this visualization can be configured to have color coding for a quick and easy to understand visual of how your organization is performing. While we won't be going into any of the technical details of this KPI visualization, we did want to point out some important features. For instance, you can color code these KPI tiles based upon any criteria that you require. Based upon the user's needs, you can also change the sort order on the fly. You can go by alphabetical or perhaps by worst first or best first. As with all Spotfire visualizations, it is also possible to create a details visualization to gain better insight into a specific KPI tile. By clicking on a tile, you can see on the right hand side that you can get additional detail for each one of these tiles. Collaboration and communication has also been improved with this new version. For instance, an annotation can now be added directly to a visualization to help point a user towards a specific area of a visualization for additional information. It is now possible to chat directly inside of the Spotfire application. You can add additional comments to an area of a visualization that you wish to have a conversation with your fellow employees about. You can eat. Spotfire will bring up a distribution of that particular column, giving you different data types you can change without altering the underlying column. As part of the inline data prep tool, it is now possible to change how null values are handled without having to create an extra calculated column. As you can see, you can change it to a specific value or an average value. Some organizations wish to augment their analysis with internal or external web pages. For instance, a page off of their internet or an external web service that would go to something like weather.com. This can be accomplished by simply typing in the, the address of the website and embedding it. This will give you real-time access to that web page. This new version has incorporated some new features to the map. For instance, you can now have a real-time connection to a WMS layer, such as the National Weather Service. A new feature also allows you to use a radius rather than a square to highlight an area. So you can actually grab an area using a circle and include the distance real time. Another new feature to the map system allows you to use tile services instead of the base map layer. This allows you a lot more options in what the background map will look like. For instance, positron, dark, toner, terrain, or even watercolor. The ability to control the layout of crosstab has also been greatly improved. In the past, all columns had to be formatted the same. It is now possible in this version to style each cell, each column individually. You can now change horizontal to vertical, change the distance between the columns, align them left or right for many other options. There are many other features that have been added in this particular version that are not covered in this video. For instance, connectors to salesforce.com, Google Analytics, a waterfall visualization, and additional control over column charts and scatter plots. As always, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe and check out our other videos.